Hello, Spencery. She's not in today. She won't be in at all today. She'll be in tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Okay. Okay. What would you say were his attributes? Um, I would say that he could be that he could be honest. Um, I think that's a great attribute. I think that um, the fact that he could be really honest um, about his thoughts on um, on you know on anything really on his own feelings um, on an opinion maybe that you if, if you ask his opinion on something I think it'd be quite um, direct and honest. Um, in his answer, he wouldn't necessarily try to uh, spare your your feelings, um, and I think. You know, to speak with, with passion and honesty is um, a great thing to be able to do. say to me. One was, I often have more on my mind than I do in my pocket. And the other was fancy quick hand job. I met Evelyn in the cinema in The Elephant and Castle. Um, I was working as an usher um, and during the interval it was a double bill um, of the Rocky Horror Picture Show and I think the other film, I think it was The Incredible Journey. I think it was the Rocky Horror Picture Show and The Incredible Journey. And Evelyn came to me in the interval um, and I remembered him because he was the only grown-up uh, in the cinema at the time that actually bought a zoom ice lolly, which sticks in my head, you know. Um, I, I used to really like zoom ice lollies myself, and, and so when someone bought a zoom ice lolly, it was quite a you know strange thing. We started talking, and uh, you know our love of cinema was very similar. We both loved The Incredible Journey, and we both loved the Rocky Horror Picture Show, um, and that's really how we started, you know, seeing each other in the first place. Yeah, no, it was it was in an exhibition, and. Um... It was a you know mutual friend of ours's work, um, and uh, yeah, we had a we had a mutual bitch about it because it was shit, and I think we were the only people there that didn't think it was any good. So you know we bonded then, um, you know, and he you know he talked to me about his poetry, and you know I was talking to him about my paintings, and yeah, he's he's really. The, the 
words touched up are commonly used as a derogatory term, um, but it probably most accurately describes the events that happened in the woods. Um, and he used to he used to take me to he used to take me to the woods, and he he used to take me um, up the uh, muddy passage. Um, he used to call it the muddy passage. It was more of a more of a footpath that went through the woods, um, leading leading to his special area, um, where he used to often often take me, and um, we would just just enjoy each other's company as adult and. To enjoy, he, he used to enjoy my company a lot. He got a lot out of my company. Um, we spent a lot of times, a lot of times in the woods. We met first at school. I can't really remember, but I know we met first at school. He was always around. He was nice. He was good fun to be around. Really bound to see him for fun with him. I was here working um, on a Sunday. Um, and this was pretty quiet on a Sunday. And um, I noticed a, a man outside with a really tall, good looking girl. And um, I noticed them because he kind of, he spoke to her outside the shop. He said a few things to her, almost as though he was sort of directing her, as though he was telling her to do something when she came in here. And my immediate reaction was that they're not going to film in here without asking, because people film in this shop quite a lot. People come in and say, would you mind we're doing something for such and such shopping channel? Or, or, or. And um, so I thought I'm going to keep an eye on them. And um, when he came in the shop, that wasn't what he was doing at all. He was... Um, Watching this girl, and she was picking out um, items of clothing, sort of holding them up against herself, and he was sort of directing her towards other garments. And um, then he had his hands in his pockets all, all the while. Um, and there was just something about the sort of, you know, something between them that just struck me as um, a little bit unusual. And um, then she asked, could she try some things on, and went into the fitting room. And it was then that um, I noticed he was um, actually uh, sort of playing with himself whilst watching this girl try things on. Um, because at the back of the shop there are mirrors and the way he was standing, I could see his hand in his pocket, so I knew what he was doing. And um, I called the guy from the shops over the road to come in just to kind of hopefully make him feel a little uncomfortable, um, which he did, and she got dressed and, and they left. There was a a freedom in me that he that he enjoyed. Um, I was very carefree and you know open to everything. And um, he kind of was getting a little bit of a reputation because he'd done it in other shops. He didn't just do it in here. He did it in Cinch, which is the Levi store down the road. And um, it's kind of you know it got to be a bit of a joke that this guy came in. And it also got to be a bit of a joke that it seemed to be that the girls were getting less and less good looking. Um, he was obviously paying them because you know he's not he's not an immediately attractive man and these girls were very stunning looking girls at first. The third girl he came in with I remember thinking he must be you know he's getting low on funds here. It, uh, it was it was a specially arranged trip that Evelyn said there was there was no need there was no need for, for parental consent or, or for the for the head teacher to know or for anybody to know, which which made it all the more special. Um, he he was a good teacher. He was good. He taught me a lot of things.